Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. With the assistance of Allah, we began to talk about the ethics in Hadith and Seer. We talked about different issues in Islamic ethics, which are emphasized in different verses of Quran and different narrations. We reached to this point that we said one of the main issues in Islamic ethics is believing. Believing in Allah, believing in messengers of Allah, believing in resurrection day. Until we started to talk about the love, affection, we said in this world definitely we feel that we some some items for worldly materials as sometimes we love something that it works spiritually it has a spiritual value we should understand that which love is good and which one is permanent we said when we look at the subject of having relation to the God we have two different issues loving Allah and beloved by Allah in previous section we talked about the first kind of loving it means loving Allah we said that Allah is the only person that he deserved to be loved it should be lovable by all because to love him it means to have connection to permanent life to enjoy a really a real enjoyment we will find it with the relation with Allah when a believer chants with Allah and also we talked about the signs of loving Allah and we reach to this point that we would like to talk about the effects of loving Allah. When we look at the Quran and Hadith also, we see that if a person loves Allah, it has a lot of effects in his life. We talked a little about that and I would like to continue. One of the effects of loving Allah is familiarity with Allah it means when a person feels that he loves Allah he feels that he loves to talk to him to have relation with him to change himself to the way that he wants of course our love has different levels but if we imagine a person reaches to the highest level of love then really when he wants to talk he talks in the way that the beloved one likes and allows him he changes his clothes in such a way we have seen young people usually when they love a person an artist they try to talk as he talks to change their clothes the style of talking sitting walking everything they change it and when a person loves Allah he loves to talk to him as we see Many scholars, many poets are talking about loving Allah and enjoyment of having relation with Allah. There is a beautiful sentence in Nahdul Balagha from Imam Ali, peace be upon him, that Imam says when he's talking about the real believers those people who love Allah. Imam says, These people are the one. The knowledge which they have acquired has made them see the realities and visualize the truth. They understood the truth by their heart. They feel happy in the company and association of things that other people frighten, which frighten the ignorant and uneducated. It means they become familiar with something that other people ignorant 
they fear a lot, like death or chanting. They love it, although ignorant people do not feel it. Then they hesitate to chant to Allah. They did not recognize him. So Imam says, وَسَحِبُ الدُّنْيَا بِأَبْدَانٍ أَرْوَاهُهَا مُعَلَّغَةٌ بِالْمَحَلِّ الْأَعْلَى They live in this world like everybody else. They are among other people. They talk, they eat, they sit. They participate in different places, but their souls soar to the highest of divine eminence. It means their body is there, but their soul is somewhere else. أُولَٰئِكَ خُلَفَاءُ الله فِي أَرْضِهِ وَالدُّعَاتُ إِلَىٰ دِينِهِ They are media of Allah on this earth, and they invite people toward him. Then Imam says, Ah, ah, شَوْغًا إِلَىٰ رُؤْيَتِهِمْ انصرف إِذَا شِئْتِ Then Imam says to the person, to his companion, How I love to meet such a people. Al Kumail, the person that Imam was talking to, I have told you all that I have to say. I finished. Everything was necessary to tell you, I informed you. You can go back to your place whenever you like. So the first effect of loving Allah here is familiarity with Allah to love, to have better relation with him, to sit and talk to him. Another effect, Allah. A person reaches to the level when he loves Allah, he is satisfied with anything, he feels that Allah likes it. Of course, to be satisfied, by everything that Allah has given to us has different levels. One level, sometimes we deal with Allah as He is our attorney. We say, okay, I want you to do something. I want you not to do something else. For example, fill the application for me and something else. And uh, of course, in this level, sometimes I complain from the attorney that he didn't do the work very well. This is trusting an attorney, but this is the lowest level. Of course, sometimes we deal with Allah as He is our attorney. We are satisfied, but not very much, and we complain. But sometimes when a person reaches to higher level, he changes, he says, Anything Allah wants it, this is good for me. I'm not going to complain from anything. Anything he decides for me, this is the best. This is al-raza bi Allah, al-raza bi qaza Allah. Unfortunately, many times we complain to the Lord from the situation. From something that happened, Allah gave me a boy or a girl, and I'm complaining. Allah didn't give me that much money that I liked it. And I complain. This is not a riza bil ghaza or bihukmillah. This is not satisfaction with Allah's deed, Allah's orders, Allah's decision. But when a person becomes really a good believer and loves Allah, he reaches to the level that he says, Oh my Lord, anything you want it. If you want money in my hand, that's okay. If you don't want it, that's okay. If you want me to have a job, thank you very much. If you want to take my job, thanks a lot. Of course, it doesn't mean we should not do anything. No, we should do and work very hard. But the result, we should leave it to the hand of Allah. I tried my best, but I didn't succeed. I tried my best, but I lost my friends, my members of the family, or some crisis in my family, we should handle and be satisfied of Allah. When Allah is talking about these group of people in chapter 5, verse 119, Allah says, 
رضي الله عنهم ورضوا عن ذلك الفوض العظيم Allah praised these people in this verse when he says Allah is well pleased with them, it means believers, those who love Allah and are satisfied with Allah's deeds. And they are well pleased with Allah. They don't complain. Unfortunately, when a person doesn't like Allah that much, anything, any problem in his life, he complains, he stops praying, he disconnects his relation to the Lord. He deals with Allah as he is over there and he pays money, the salary to him and he should give good service, as I said, like attorney. If he does very well, that's okay. Otherwise, I don't want it. So, we will see that one of the effects is Allah, to be satisfied with anything that Allah does. And another issue, we should know that what is the result of loving Allah? The result is to visit Allah, not in the day after, to visit Allah in this world. A person when he is so close to Allah and he is loves Allah so much, anything he does in this world, he see Allah. There is a beautiful sentence from Imam Ali, peace be upon him. The narration is from Imam al-Sadiq and Abi Abdullah alayhi salam qal ja'a hibrun ila amir al-mu'mineen salawatullah alayhi. The narration is from Imam Sadiq, peace be upon him, that one person, a Christian, came to Imam Ali and asked Imam Ali, Ya Amir al-Mu'mineen, Hal ra'ayt rabbaka hina abbattahu? He asked Imam Ali that, Did you see your Lord when you worshipped him? Qal faqal waylak, ma kuntu rab a'abudu rabban lam arah. He said, What are you talking about? What does it mean? I haven't worshipped the Lord that I haven't seen it. He asked Imam that how did you see? You believe that he is not material. How have you seen? Imam said, definitely, Nobody can see Allah by these eyes, material eyes, but by heart, yes, we can see Allah. If a person reaches to highest level of belief and loving Allah, he see Allah in everything. And Imam Ali says in another beautiful sentence that ma ra'aytu shay'an illa wa qad ra'aytu Allah qablahu wa ma'ahu wa ba'da. I haven't seen anything unless I have seen Allah before that, with that, and after that. The righteous people, those who have reached very high level of believing in Allah, in their life, any movement that they want to have it, they will see Allah, that Allah is with them. Allah is watching them. Allah is talking to them. Until now, we talked about the loving Allah, the effect of loving Allah, the signs of loving Allah. And at the end we said to visit Allah even in this world, let alone to the day after. Now I would like to talk about another side of the issue, loving by Allah. It means beloved by Allah. In different verses of Quran and different narrations, we see that when Allah wants to praise some people, Allah says, Allah loves these people. So until now, we said, we love Allah and the effect of that and the signs of that. And now Allah loves his creatures. If we focus in this issue and understand and recognize deeply that Allah really loves us, then a lot of problem in our life will be solved. 
then there is no reason to be dispersed in this life. Desperation is because sometimes we think nobody is watching us or he has forgotten us. But if we know deeply that Allah has a knowledge, He is watching us and He loves us so much. Though with the, because of that, really we can handle the problems much easier. In different verses of Quran we see that Allah says that He loves those who struggle to fight because of Allah, those who are helping other people, they are beneficent in their life for their community, the members of their society, those who repent, those who are very pious people. In many verses, Allah emphasizes in these issues, but some sentences in Quran and Hadith, they are really showing us that how much Allah loves a person who is close, who feels that he loves Allah. It means when we love Allah, Allah allows us to reach to that level and then Allah loves as a result for our love too. There is a narration that Prophet, peace be upon him, said to Prophet Dawood, peace be upon him. That Allah said to Prophet Ya Dawood, Ablaq ahla arzi anni habibu man ahabbani. O oh, my Prophet Dawood, announce to my creatures, my servants, that I love those people who love me. I am their friend, friend of those people who consider me as their friends. I am their friend. And I'm sitting with those people who try to sit with me, communicate with me. And I'm very familiar with those people who remember me. I'm so close with them. I'm the company of those people who are trying to accompany with me. And I am going to listen to those who listen to me. There is a narration in Hadith Al Qudsi that Allah says, Man ashakani ashaktuhu. Whoever loves me, I love him. And whoever I love him, I am going to kill him. Whoever I'm killing him, I am going to pay the dear for that, compensation for that. And the compensation for that, to give myself. It means he's going to have me. In that time, his hand becomes my hand. His decision becomes my decision. Anything he wants to do, I'm going to help him. And he doesn't want to do anything except something that Allah wants it. So we have understood to love Allah, to like Allah, we'll have some signs. And the sign will tell us that this person likes Allah. A person who loves to communicate with Allah. It is one of the best signs. And also Allah says, I am going to love him to the level that his hand becomes my hands. His decision becomes my decision. We ask Allah to help us to be good servant for Allah. Thank you very much for watching. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.